What up, guys? What up, what up, what up? We down here. We down here in the country right now. We're going to see if do a little beaver trap. I got a call us. They said, man, a beaver trap. The beaver going to come up in here. I'm going to cut my wife's tree down right here in the front yard. Well, actually, the back yard. But anyway, I said, well, I can get over there when I can, you know. So now I'm over here when I can, you know. I'm gonna use some old long chains. I called my buddy JP. I said, man, I need some grinding rods. I said, I gotta show people how to use them grinding rods. Anyway, he said, won't you use them grinding cables? I said, man, I ain't got time to fool with all that. Just bring it to me, son. Just bring it to me. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, you can see I got all kinds of crap stuff back here. But uh, uh oh man, I have trouble with this one. Here we go. Anyhow, you can see I got all that corn in the back there, and uh well. I might just get into one more trapping gig. One more trapping gig. We'll see. Turkey season opens up next Monday for the Ute down here in Mississippi. I don't know. Harlow, he's a Ute. So, anywho, get these together. You know how it is, man. We're just going to catch the food. So, maybe they come in here and we're going to... Y'all see me use the long chains. I don't guess I have to explain, explain them all the time. Uh oh. We shall see. I need another rod there. Yeah, I need another rod right there, my. Need another rod right there. So we'll take a couple of them and we'll go over and set some beaver traps. Daddy, uh. I'm a little guy. I'm a little kid. I'm a little kid. Oh yeah, baby. Woo! Make your eyes roll. Woo! I love that smell. Mmm. The other day, my truck was smelling like hog, and I just opened up that old that old beaver lure right there, and I just left it in there like that right there. I just let the whole let the whole console just smell like old beaver butt. So, uh, yeah, hoes. I like ain't nothing like a good beaver tail. I like the smell of that beaver tail. Anywho, we got a couple traps here. We're going to see if we can't set a few of them. See what we can do. Well, I was going to show you a little bit what I got right here. This is old, it's old sweet gum tree, softwood, but you know, some people like shade. But that's what that beaver done done right there. He done come in there. Now that now that sun coming off that lake right there. Anyways, you can see, no, that's a pretty good tree right there. Pretty good tree. It's all off. So we're gonna go down here on the end right here. <sighs> my dear breath, I told you my stuff over here while ago. But you can see right here on the ends, would have been kind of just gnawing back on it again. Right there. So I'm gonna try to set a trap. Right up in here somewhere, right up against this bank right here. And I'm gonna put a lure on there. I'm gonna put a little lure on there and uh, make him think there's another beaver in here. And when he does that, hopefully he'll come up there. Yeah, get him. And I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna have to set my tripod up on the hill up here so my thing don't fall over in the water while I'm here. I could set it up probably in this water, but I'd hate for my phone to fall off in that water. So y'all bear with me. We're gonna get our stuff together here and, uh, See if we can't figure out how to get this, get this thing caught. Y'all got faith in me? Y'all got any faith in me? <laughs> Let's try it, boy. Let's try it. Beaver, here I come. Here I come. After that beaver tail, man. My dog gonna be chewing on you. I'm looking that way because I know there's like a little beaver hood over there. <laughs> Let's see what it do, baby. Let's see what it do. Do what it do, baby. Do what it do. Alright, so I'm gonna set this trap real quick. Uh, gotta use my knees. I'm getting weak. The older I get, I get weak. So we got the baby trap set. Uh, oh, yeah, baby. A little down, but it's it gonna be. We don't catch that moment. Uh, all right, so I can kind of see right here where they've been climbing up. Oh, uh, the bank right here, even though it's sharp, what it is, it's about that much bank. We like to try to dig into the bank, then, right there. Yeah, a little bit like the dug in there. What I'm gonna do, put this trap right here, right in this water right here. Clean me out of the spot. 
take this old chain right here. I'm gonna end up staking it back that way. That way, the beaver, he can only go this way. And uh, he can't get tangled back up in the trees when he comes in here to gnaw some more bark or whatever. So I'm gonna take this thing, Let's see if I can get this thing pulled up. I love this old hood. This is my buddy Final Step. Final Step Predator Control from South Alabama, the real trapper. That man be doing it up, doing it up, doing it up, doing it up. All right, I'm gonna fill down this grass. Get all that leaves and stuff out of the way. I'm trying to get it to sit, to seat. Seat, I guess it would be kind of sucked down in there a little bit. We'll take it and I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do Take this right here a little bit. Let's see. Yeah. Should have done this before I put my trap up. Anyway, just give them a little, little shine right there. Make it look like old beaver went up there. What we're gonna do, take that old beaver lure. Now I can make a, I can make like an old caster mound set looks like up there, take some old mud. Taking a little mud right there. Well, I can put that up there right there. But he ain't gonna make it that high. So what I do is, we're gonna give him a little scent. That's that good stuff right here, bro. That's that good stuff. We're gonna take it. I'm gonna do two, two things. I'm gonna do one, and I'm gonna stick it into the side of the bank. Cause all he needs, he don't have, you know, a lot of times that old slide, you make a slide and you got to be caster mount as a visual up there. Well, we don't need all that. I mean, right here, because the bank's so steep, and he's going to be coming over here checking his log out to cut on, to gnaw on it anyway. So I'm going to, first thing I'm going to do, I have to smell, whew, I'm going to put that right in the bank. So what that does is, if old, I'm going to put it right in the bank, and that keeps a coon, if he's up here, him, keep him from digging it and taking it. So, and then I'm going to take one, and I'm going to put this one, on top of here where normally it goes so anyway when he comes in here to investigate now he'll come right here come up at the edge right here but he puts that foot in there he's caught so uh what else we're gonna do right here real quick we're gonna take this chain we're gonna move this chain on down here and then all we're gonna do all we're gonna do set it right there That's gonna hold it. That's gonna swivel. That's swivel right there. Hopefully in the morning or sometime this week, we're gonna have a beaver. He thinks there's another person in his territory. That's that smell. It's that, it's that lure smell. That's that vanilla flavor. So anyway, we're gonna try it. And we'll set a couple more around here. I ain't gonna show you all of them probably, but I'll show you some more maybe. I don't know. Maybe. It's <laughs> how I feel. It's my show. I do what I want. Y'all don't quit telling me how to do it. <laughs> anyway. <sighs> Let's go see what we can find, boys. All right, so I put one out. I got a, I got like a little bank den over there. That's basically what we had. I did put one, I did put one over there. I hate sitting around the den at first, but uh, just because I just get so weary. But anyway, I did put one over there, and then I got one over at the house. And then I'm gonna fish and put. I'm gonna show you real quick. I'm gonna put one right here. And the reason I'm gonna put one here is because that that that's west. So, and that wind's kind of northwest and it's blowing. So, I'm going to put that lure here like Caster Man said. So, if he does come out of that lodge tonight or whatever, or if, if they're even using it, and uh, or come up out of that creek bottom. A lot of times, they come out of that bottom over there, and they just come up that creek, and they're damming up as they come, and they get up here, and they got them a little little hut or whatnot. But any which way, we're going to uh, put scent here, and then it'll kind of draw back that way, draw towards it. So, if he comes out, you know, if he goes over there to, to his feet where he's got his little feed stick, or uh, where he, where he tore that down and won't get sticks that's fine i got a set there and then i got a set at his lodge if he comes out and then when he comes back in or you know if i don't catch him coming out or whatever but uh they're all foothold traps i'm going to show you right here so the scent's going to go that way so hopefully they just swim over here i'm going to show you the location and how this works right here uh let me see if i can step down in this water yeah it ain't too deep so he's going to be coming he's going to be coming from that direction right there you see the way the waves are going He's going to be coming from that direction. So if he smells it and then he's going to come up 
longest bank more than likely just kind of swim and then uh come right up into here and what i want to do is i want to let me zoom out a little bit what i want to do is have a set here and i'm gonna make my mound and my slewer set here and uh, that'll kind of guide him on up in there to get caught now yes i could put a conner bear trap there which is a body grip trap uh there would be a good spot and there would be a good spot to have a little on the back side the thing about that is that, that's not a problem but uh usually when i'm called in to do jobs like this line owners may have done shot at them may have done try to trap them themselves they're already leery pond beavers are already leery of everything and uh yes kind of bears do work but uh when you can blind set them they don't even know what's under the water they don't swim around going i wonder if there's a trap under here <laughs> no they go up there and say, who's in my territory with that scent? And they're like, bam, I'm in your territory, son. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to show you real quick. I'm going to set this up. As you can see, I got some logs right here. Uh, these were not here. Uh, they were kind of over there. But the reason I say that, that I'm going to use them is because uh, uh, we got cows in this pasture and they're always coming in and getting water. Uh, this trap won't hold a, a, a large cow, but... Uh, you know, I don't, I don't want to take the chance of it just tripping it in general so them coming down here and getting water. So I'm just kind of going to block that off from them so they just kind of maybe want to eat or drink over there or drink over there. So always thinking about not what you're trapping, but also the non-target and anything that's else around it. So, you know, whether it be uh, calves or dogs, cats, children, you know. So anything, always be mental, mentally prepared to be thinking about that. So last thing I want to do is show up here and let on those calves in here. And like I said, it's not going to... It wouldn't do anything. You know, we just don't want them to get hung up down here in the water or something like that. But uh, any which way, it's just little things to think about. And uh, I'll show you how to put this thing in. And we're going to get out of here. Go get us something to eat. Up. Let's get this bad boy set. Let's get this bad boy set. So, first thing you do, you'll take this Duke. This is a Duke 650, which I ground the lugs off. And uh, made it a closed jaw instead of an open jaw. The way they come open jaw the way, the way they are. They're all are offset. I guess you would say not open jaw, but offset. So. <laughs> when I hear that click, that night latch, it just makes me think of. Death is coming. <laughs> Calm down, people. I don't kill everything, just most everything. <laughs> so, anyway, we're going to clear out a spot right here. Get all these leaves out of here. Anything that might get up under that trap or keep that trap from closing. And uh, let me get this pile made first. Though. Let's get this little old pile. There's leaves. There's the mud. And what they do is some beavers come up here, when they make a caster mound set, they come up here and they push a bunch of mud and leaves up on there, and then they uh, secrete on it, and uh, that's their territory. So I got my own, I got my own secrete <laughs> right here, and then I'm, it makes it seem like there's another territorial, uh, another beaver that moved into the territory, so. Anyway, of course we're still losing the long chains. Uh, I'd love to have a drowner set, but it's not even deep enough for a drowner set here, so. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is have it back by right here. Looking for a spot to get this thing in. I like it. Slap it up a little bit, make it look like something just come up there, even though it'll probably dry here pretty soon. But. Take this. Man, it smells good. I'm gonna get a good little dive there. We're gonna make him think. Think of the new boss in there. And he'll come up here. Hopefully, when he put his foot down, he can come. Oh, let's see. Take that over there. So I'm kind of block this off a little bit. And that'll just make, like I said, just kind of deter the cows from coming down right here. You know, I doubt they'd step off that far, being so much lower spots. But you never know, man. We just want to be safety as well, you know. So we'll come over here. And uh, I'm 
just gonna drive this down real quick. I don't even know if I'm in the view of the camera, but I'm just gonna drive it down real quick. If you can't see me, you can hear me. <laughs> you can always hear me. Here it comes. Here it comes. Anyway, get that down. That's all there is to it, boys. Beaver trapping. One home, one. <laughs> What's going on guys? Y'all see earlier I set some traps over at the other place and uh excuse me at the other uh little lodge over at the other pool and we got also got another pool here as you can see there's a big dam right here or, or somewhat of a dam. You can see right there in the middle, right there, there's a little hut or something on that little island out there. Look at that little pine tree, lonesome pine tree right there on the on the uh right there in the center of the pool. Uh so it seems like we got some beaver here or some nutra or something, man. I don't know. I just be trapping. I don't ever be knowing what I be what I be trapping. <laughs> I just be trapping. So anyway, we're gonna break this little dam a little bit, and I'm gonna show you once again. Uh, hopefully, I'm gonna show you once again. Let's see uh, how to kind of work a dam set. Uh, a dam break set, and uh, with the long chains. And, and I'll show you why. These are kind of like why I use those long chain sets. It's because uh, you can kind of get that chain out away from it. I do have drowning rods. The problem is I didn't have them prepared. I went and picked them up from my buddy JP and I didn't get them prepared uh, to do this. So long chain will still work. It'll just, just liable to be alive unless you catch a young one. If you catch a young one, he'll try to swim out there and the weight of it will bring it down. But just showing you a little bit how we break this down. I'm not gonna break a big wide gap because I want that beaver to be right here, right there where my tool is going, where my cater rate's going. That's how beaver stops it up. <laughs> anyway. I'm actually going to a baseball game here. A little bit of my son's playing. So, like I said, I'm not going to bust this real wide. It's late in the evening. This water was found off very well. I'm going to try to get out here out into two. These are just water resistant, they're not waterproof, so uh, I don't want to get too wet before I go to the game. You know what you like I said, you try to set it this way, with that Dipsy 50, that way the water's rushing. Anything that's coming like that leaf, or you know, anything like stick water, won't get wet up under that. I'm gonna get on back down here. Got a little soot right here. Always feel down there. Get that those leaves, get that soot kind of out of the way a little bit because it's going to be running. It's a good spot. I'm going for a back foot. And the reason I'm going for a back foot is because there's so much more meat. There's so much more meat there to hold until I get here. If it was a driving set, I would go with that front paw. He would go down and it would hold his head down further. Back foot, he might be able to just kind of sit around and kind of hold his, catch his air until you got here. So that's what we're going to do there. Why use long chain? Well, the reason is, a lot of times when you're, uh, if you got to walk into a lot of places, you can wrap that chain around your trap, maybe a couple of 30-inch rebar stakes, and just go and walk on in best you can without toting a bunch of stuff. That's just me showing it. Yes, you can do it very many different ways. I understand, but this is me showing y'all. You don't see a whole lot on social media and YouTube about using a long chain. So this is why I do it. Or oh, this is how you do it. Let's roll on. Watch some baseball, boys. Watch some baseball. 